Hey everybody, this is Mike from Iron Shepherd Forge again. We're going to be doing a little project today where we get compressor uh, power from my air compressor from the washroom using the uh, outlet for my dryer that uh, I'm not using. I've got a uh, natural gas dryer and so I'm not using the 220 volt outlet and so we're going to move it through the wall and we're going to power up the compressor on that circuit which is going to free up another uh, one of my 220 volt outlets on this side of the shop. So. I apologize in advance for some of the lighting. Uh, wasn't the great. I was using portable lights, but uh, everything else should be pretty clear. And uh, stay tuned, and we'll see how this goes. So being a blacksmith, one of the things I don't have a shortage of is steel in all shapes and sizes. This is a little makeshift tool that I had. It was a piece out of the scrap bucket, a piece of 3 16 inch steel that I cut a little bevel on it and use it as a makeshift drill bit to cut through the drywall so that I'd know exactly where I needed to cut the hole on the garage side and didn't have to worry about measuring. And as you'll see, it worked perfectly. Better than I had expected, actually. So in years past, I used to always cut drywall with a razor knife. I see a lot of people do it with a razor knife. This is just a simple uh, folding knife with the box cutter type blades. Uh, works really well. Uh, I really would have preferred that I had this, however, which is a drywall saw. Um, I'm going through a little bit of a shop reorganization right now, and I wasn't able to find this when I was shooting this video. Uh, of course, I was fortunate enough to find it the day after I finished shooting this video. So I would say, if you're gonna cut through drywall, I'd use one of these instead. Uh, much faster, much more efficient, a little bit more dusty, but then again, it's drywall. It's always dusty. All right, and I'd like to introduce you to my uh, rescue bloodhound. This is uh, Utah. Uh, he uh, came into our family last year, and he's my not-so-shop dog. He's a little skittish, but uh, he is a pretty good boy. And he is curious, so he had to come say hi and see what I was doing in the, uh, in the washroom. So everybody say hi to Utah.
this is the part where I'm hooking up the conductors and I thought I would be, uh, I thought I would try and be smooth here and do the, this conductor goes to this uh, wire and this, this connection goes to this wire and it just didn't work out very well. So. Hey everybody, thanks for following along on this little uh, project of mine and uh, if you like this content down here in the corner, I, th I think it's over here somewhere, there's a little button, a little clicker that you can click on and subscribe to my channel. It'll take you to the main page of my channel where you click subscribe and then next to the subscribe button there's a little bell. If you click that bell, that'll give you the uh, uh, notifications at any time I post a new video you'll get that and I'd love it if you'd like share subscribe and comment if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you on the next one thanks a lot and this is Mike from Iron Shepherd Forge signing off be safe out there